Hey, what's up guys? Luke here today with a preview for you of iPhone OS 4.0. This is the 4.0 beta for the developers. Apple announced the new iPhone firmware on Thursday, April 8, 2010. They announced that everyone, including all consumers and iPhone users, would be able to download and use it in summer of 2010. However, they said that developers and anyone enrolled in their standard or enterprise developer program would be able to download and install it on their devices immediately. So I've got it downloaded and installed here on my iPhone 3GS. So let's just take a look at the features and some of the things that you should be looking forward to in iPhone 4.0. So we're just going to simply turn on our phone here and we're presented with the standard Apple lock screen. We're going to slide to unlock here and we are pulled into the new Apple home screen. As you can see here, you can now set a uh, photo as your iPhone background. We kind of saw that coming, however, because we saw it on the iPad and it was inevitable that it would certainly come to the iPhone because that's what Apple's been doing is actually taking features that people jailbreak for and incorporating them into their iPhone firmwares. So all you have to do to change your back screen wallpaper, I'm going to make it a little bit darker for this video. We're going to go to settings, go down to wallpaper, uh, choose from your camera roll or whatnot. I'm going to take a photo I took in Hawaii. There's one right there. Click set. Now you can set as lock screen as you usually would be able to, but now you can also set as home screen. And I'm just going to set both. It's going to save the photo and we are good to go. Now as you see, my new iPhone home screen wallpaper is set and ready to go. Another new feature that Apple released, which was really, really cool, was a unified mail inbox. So if you have multiple mail accounts on your iPhone, you can manage them all in one inbox, but you can also manage them all in separate inboxes, just like the mail app on the uh, Mac, uh, Mac OS X. So as you see here, I have two inboxes. I have my Gmail account and I have my Luke at LukeDemarco.com account all synced with my iPhone. Now I can individually check each account, but say I'm checking this account and I want to go back and I, want, and I get an email to my Luke at LukeDemarco.com account, it won't come up in here. I actually have to go back and then go into my Luke at LukeDemarco.com account and stuff like that. However, if I have all inboxes selected, I can easily view all my emails from all the inboxes I have. So just a simple, not a huge feature, but just a simple, simple thing that Apple has done just to make your life a little bit easier on the iPhone. Now, by far, my favorite feature that Apple announced for the 4.0 OS was folders. Folders is a feature that will allow you to categorize different applications into folders so that they won't take up uh, a lot of space on pages so that two apps can actually be one app and you can choose them. So for instance, let me just show you here. Uh, down here, I'm going to show you, quickly zoom in here, I have Gowalla and Foursquare. Let me just get into zoom there quickly. Okay. I have Gowalla and Foursquare. They're both, they're both location-based applications. All you have to do is hold down so that they get squiggling like that and then drag Foursquare over Guala or one app over a number and it creates a folder and see it's already called it the social folder because that's what both of those genre uh, uh, both of the genres of those apps are so what I'm going to actually do is call these location apps it's hard to type sideways location so I'm going to click done hit the home button and we are good to go so now I'm actually viewing the folder so on my home screen this is what it looks like right there it just says location I'm going to tap that and both my location apps come up. So that is an incredibly cool feature that I thought. So now I can organize my games, uh, my video services, my all that, all that cool stuff into uh, different applications and different folders. So very, very cool. I would say the most hyped feature that Apple announced at the 4.0 conference was multitasking. Uh, this is how multitasking works. So let me just hop into Safari here real quick. Uh, I'm going to go to, uh, let me just see, can I get this up here? I'm going to go to LukeDemarco.com, which is my website. LukeDemarco.com, let it load. I believe there is a mobile version. Oh, what a, what a snag, eh? Uh, iPhone OS 4.0 predictions, say I want to read some of that. I think that's pretty interesting. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, copy and paste. I'm just not going to copy and paste the whole article. But I'm just going to copy something, and I'm going to open up Mail. And I'm going to go to Luke DeMarco. I'm going to compose a new message. I'm going to paste it in here. But now say there's something that I forgot. I want to copy more things from Safari. All I have to do down here is double tap the home button. And as you see down here, Safari is open. And Safari brings me right back to where I had it. So then that, and then I can copy a little bit more. Copy. I can double click the home button again. Switch on back to mail and it's right in the email that I was composing before. So it's really, really a great feature. 
paste that in there just like that. So really a cool, cool feature, multitasking. Um, I can see it being a real problem for people not knowing what it is. So for instance, as you see down here, I had no idea I was running Photos or Game Center. Uh, so I mean, I could be building up a list of seven or eight, nine, ten apps, and my phone would crash or freeze. I wouldn't even know it. So it's a feature that should be used wisely, and I can see it becoming a pain in the ass for a lot of people that uh, don't really know uh, what the whole multitasking thing is about. Now we just saw it in the multitasking demo, and what we're going to look at now is the new app that Apple has released down there. It's called Game Center. Now Game Center is like Xbox Live, and I think it's going to revolutionize the way that we look at apps on the App Store. It's got leaderboards, scoreboards, uh, achievements that you can do, all sorts of things that you can do with apps. I'm just going to give a quick demo of it here. Luke DeMarco, it is loading my friends. Uh, right now I don't have any friends because it's a beta and I have no idea who's on it. But uh, you can do status updates. It says zero friends, zero games played, and I've never played a game because I just set this up this morning. And uh, my username is Luke DeMarco if you want to throw me an invite and you have the beta. So you can send me a friend request and stuff like that. You can add your friends. Cool stuff, eh? So that's Game Center, and I really think that that's going to be a new new level for the App Store and uh, its growth. Another new feature in iPhone OS 4.0 has to do with the camera app. We have a couple of new features in the camera app and the first one is tap to focus in video. So I'm just going to swap it over to video there and you can now tap to focus while taking video and it'll do its thing and go nuts and uh, oh that's tapping to focus on the window back there but let's make that shot a little bit brighter tap to focus down here. So that's video, you can now tap to focus and do that. The video quality on the iPhone is great as uh, I'm sure if you guys, so, uh, a lot of you guys know. What I'm going to do now is just tilt my iPhone like this and we are going to zoom in which is a huge feature. This is five times zoom guys. So you can now zoom on the iPhone which is another reason why uh, a lot of people jailbroke their iPhones and stuff like that. They actually downloaded apps that would do it for them. The quality, it's obviously going to reduce the quality by quite a bit, but uh, that is no matter. If you want to zoom in on something or something like that, you now have the ability to do uh, five times zoom on the iPhone. Alright guys, thank you very much for watching my iPhone OS 4.0 demo. Please subscribe for more videos, we're going to be having a lot of them going over the OS 4.0, and I will keep you updated on when you can actually download this for yourself. Never download this from a torrent site, because if your device isn't registered as an Apple development device, it will brick your iPhone or iPod Touch and you will no longer be able to use it. So guys, this has been Luke from LukeDemarco.com. I'll see you in the next video.